uh, one of the top prospects in all the land, one of the best quarterbacks available in this year's draft. He is from UCLA. Josh Rosen, good to see you, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me on. You appreciate it. I know you don't do this a lot, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Not too much. How many How many of these interviews have you done so far? Uh, this is the first one I've ever been in a studio. The studio is awesome. Fantastic. It's so cool. I appreciate that. Playing green over here. Are, are you a golfer? Do you play? Uh, no, but I try. I have fun. Oh, I get out now. there. No, come on now. That's that's what elite elite quarterbacks must play golf. Yeah. Right? So Aaron Rodgers actually came down and, and was hanging out um, with us for a little bit at the uh, Athletes First Classic, our uh, agency's okay. golf tournament. And um, I shot in the nineties. Um, had fun out there. I had one of my had uh, two birdies, first ever. Okay. And um, I think Aaron ripped out a seventy. And I told him that. I was like, yeah, I got, got out there, had fun, shot a 96, 97. And he's like, yeah, looks at me with the dead straight face and goes, that's going to have to get better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to need to get better at that one. Yeah, because, I mean, if you're going to join that elite quarterback group, you can't just, let's put it this way, you can't have a kicker, and I love kickers, you can't have a kicker go out and beat you in golf. I would, if you're a quarterback. I would agree with that. Got, right? I mean, but you're more you're a tennis guy though, right? Yeah. When was the last time that you played tennis? Um, you know, me and Coach Fish actually. Coach Fish, uh, Jed Fish, my I saw, coordinator this I, last year. I saw year. him at Staples last night, as a matter of fact, because okay. he, he has Michigan Wolverine roots yeah. as well. So I saw him there last yeah, night. Yeah, so he's a big tennis player and we've been meaning to get on the course, uh get it on the court. Yeah. And um and play and haven't haven't gotten to it yet. So but. if you had to tell me, Josh Rosen, your game, your tennis game is like Fill in the blank. Whose tennis game was your? I was a big uh, Patrick Rafter, Pete Sampras fan. Big okay. serve and volleyer. Um, okay. I uh, didn't mess with the whole ground stroke thing. Just wanted to get to the net and the point. Right, because you're so. I mean, you could cover the the net. I mean, you'd be up there. What are you six four? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I when I played younger, and then the last time I really picked it up and played um, for real was probably in high school. Just wanted to pick it up and have fun. Uh, fun in season. Mm -hmm. um, I think like my sophomore year and. The last time I played before that, I was like three, four inches shorter. So you see the whole court. You can serve all different kinds of angles, get to the net, and, right. and cover the court a lot better than you were, could when you are like 13. <laughs> okay, so let's stop talking tennis because I don't want you to get a downgrade by anybody that's sitting out there thinking you're not as into football as you need to be. You hearing that a lot? Josh? Yeah. I mean, I think um, up until this point, it hasn't really bothered me. But uh, if um, my thing was basically going to the combine and uh, meeting all these teams personally. If, if any of these rumors and stuff persisted after this point, then it might bother me a little bit. But um, I, I, I'm not going to worry about people um, judging me that don't know me. Uh, I think if people actually did get to know me and continued to say those things, then it bothered me a little bit. But I think I've put my best, uh, my best foot out um, first at the combine, at these, at these interviews, at my pro day. And um, I think that moving forward, teams are really going to know what... Um, the real Josh Rosen is all about. Where do you think the the rumors come from? Um, you know, I don't really know. I mean, I was thrown in the spotlight really early at uh, 18 years old. Um, had three full years of it uh, at UCLA and, and guys picking and prodding every single thing you do. Um, I didn't really get uh, any time to sit back and look at like a Brett Hundley um, a year ahead of me and kind of diagnose and, and sit and say, who do I want to be um, when this spotlight comes? And I didn't I didn't get that. They just you get thrown out there. And, and I think the um, the West Coast and Southern California in particular saw me grow up and become uh, um, become who I am today uh, live. <laughs> We're live live on TV. We here, are live I think. on yeah, well, and TV and radio. I mean, you know, it's a simulcast. Yeah, Josh, yeah. Don't want to don't want to uh, shun them, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, basically, they saw me grow up. I made some mistakes, and um, but I'm glad I made those mistakes. It was an opportunity to grow and become the man that I am today. It's Josh Rosen here on the Rich Eisen Show. What what are those mistakes? What would you identify as the uh, mistakes you made? I've never broken the law or done anything um, with real, real s substantial legal consequences like that. I've, I was just, I was a kid. I did some stupid things. Um, I put a hot tub in my dorm room. Yeah, we heard about media. that. We heard about that. Yeah, that made yeah. you a legend, Josh. Don't let anyone <laughs> tell you that. That made you a legend. Yeah, That's good. okay. I think that the lessons with all these things that <laughs> that F Trump had on the golf course is. Is there's a time and place. I mean, I'm not going to change who I am on the inside. I'm going to be me. But uh, you just you have to understand your audience. You have to understand who you're talking to. There's a time and place for everything. That to so try to trim the fat a little bit. Uh, that's the expression I'm using uh, mm -hmm. off the message, but still stay on message. What about being coachable, uh, Josh? That's been a question about you that you're that you're going to be the guy who always asks why instead of saying okay. Yeah, so I mean, I don't have that four or five speed to just take off. I don't really have a get out of jail free card like that. So my thing is I'm going to get to the line of scrimmage and I want to know 
I want to have run through every single possible situation and scenario in my head before I snap the ball, just to make sure that regardless of what happens, there's always something to do and somewhere to go. I want to know the inside and outside of every play. I want to be my offensive coordinator's head on the field. And um, in terms of like whether coachability and whatnot, I think I'm not going to speak to my own character, who I am, but I think you just have to talk to my old coaches. I think they'll, they'll, they'll vouch for me very strongly. I mean, I've had a, a, a documented past with uh, um, Trent Dilfer, but I think uh, we've gotten along incredibly well up to this point now. And uh, I think to get onto that aspect, I think you just got to talk to people who know me. Now, we've had Trent on the show, and he said the same thing, that the two of you did not see eye to eye, get along, or you didn't really want to receive coaching from him, is the way uh, I perceived it. Now, that might be my perception. But he said he's done a complete 180 on you, with you. And he even said to you, you know, I, I mean, in effect, you know, hey, I'm, I'm sorry it didn't work out at the very beginning. Uh, you're nodding your head. Would you agree with that as, yeah. as a You know, I, don't think, I just don't think we got enough time together. I think when if you want to get into the nitty gritty and get into a real um, deep relationship with someone and understand how it works, I mean, if you have an offensive coordinator, head coach, you're you're going through. Even if you're only with someone for a year, I had three coordinators for a year, but you you get to know them. Uh, the Elite Eleven when we hung out um, uh, in Portland, I, you don't really get to know each other very well, and I think maybe we just kind of didn't mesh very well at first. But um, I mean, we got to know each other uh, better after that. We. Uh, um, spent more time together, and I think he really understood who I am, and I, I really got to understand him, and I think our relationship's a lot stronger because of it. One more thing that I want to hit on with you that I've heard as a narrative about your uh, prospects in the NFL that is a so-called red flag, and that is that you come from a family of means, and that you in the NFL won't be as diehard of a professional or try as hard as you possibly can because you've got a fallback position in life. How do you respond to something like that? You know, I think this this thing is kind of blown up. Um, I mean, there are, if anything, I think that would show my real love for the game is that I don't I don't actually need it. I'm I'm voluntarily putting my entire. I dropped out of school. I had to convince my parents to drop out of college to pursue this full time. Um, I I want to I want to be great at this. Um, I didn't want to. Um, that's basically why I'm becoming a professional. I wanted to put all of my time into this and, and see how good I could really be. And the fact that I don't actually need this, I think actually shows the true passion that I have for this game. I mean, I love this game. I gave up tennis for it because I, I craved a, the team atmosphere. I wanted to um, to be involved in something bigger than yourself. Uh, in tennis or golf, you have fans that are that are rooting for you as a person, whereas it's it's cool to be attached to something bigger. I mean, you throw a touchdown at the rose, you throw a touchdown at the Rose Bowl, and, and you can turn to your sideline and 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 see um, 120 of your immediate best friends that you're like affecting their lives in a positive way directly. You're you're looking at administration, coaches, fans that you're you're making their day, and I think that's that's what gets me going about football. Football's the ultimate team sport. The better team doesn't always win. Um, it's not a basketball best of seven series. It's 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 one game. Anything can happen. And I think it's a really cool relationship you have with your with your teammates and your coaches to to go out there and, and basically let it rip and see how it goes. So you've never been in a huddle, Josh Rosen. Uh, third and one, game on the line, clock ticking down. Look your teammates in the face and say, let's execute. And if we don't, eh, my dad's got a 401k. That's never happened. No. <laughs> that has never <laughs> happened. Hey, everybody. My dad's got a 401k on too. Break. I mean, to, to me, when I hear that, uh, uh, in all honesty, I think what in the hell is the matter with people in the NFL if they say the kid has other interests, the kid uh, has a head on his shoulders, the kid comes from means, so he's not going to want it as much as somebody who doesn't. That makes zero sense to me. I mean, there are tons, to there are tons of people in, in professional football currently that don't need it I'm just I'm just okay to to say something about it and say that um, some people play this game because we love this game not because it's it's our paycheck to, to provide for our families and that's why I think I'm in a unique position to where um, I can maybe I can I'd said things in college and, and moving forwards we'll we'll um, we'll say and do things for the betterment of, of society and people in general not just to ensure my paycheck Okay. Josh Rosen here on the Rich Eisen Show. I want to take a break, come back and start uh, looking under the hood here as to who's already contacted you, who you've worked out for, uh, whether you wore a hat 
thrown in the rain like some other quarterbacks in this town did, which to me, as a bald man, is a red flag. Red flag. It's a red flag. <laughs> I mean, if you have elite quarterback hair, that thing just get just let it get wet. Just just ball cap, out there. long sleeve shirt. Right. I mean, what are you doing? Right. <sighs> okay. Uh, Josh Rosen is here. We'll check on that. And start bench cut is a game we play here where we gave you three choices. You have to start one. You have to bench one. You have to cut one. We have some good ones for you. Looking forward to it. Are you really? Yes. Or is I that am. what you said? Is that what you said to coaches when they're when they said to you at the combine, we're going to put you on the board? But I actually mean it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Rosen is here on the Rich Eisen Show. We're going to take a break and be back with Josh in a moment. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Josh Rosen. Uh, hanging with us here while Josh Allen is going through his pro day right now, right? Uh, in Wyoming, is that happening? That's right true, now? yes. Okay, so a uh, convergence of Josh's. We got one here in person, and, and Josh Allen. Where is he? Is he throwing? Yeah, we have breaking news on Josh Allen's pro day. Which is? So, uh, you know, Sam Darnold threw in the rain. Josh worked out in the rain at his. Yes. Josh Allen throwing indoors oh. today. Red flag. Red flag. Off the Red board. flags everywhere. Take him off the board. Red flags everywhere, Josh. Now, it Wearing was white shoes. It's a red flag. So um, I got to ask. And again, I know that you're 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 all part of the same quarterback class and that you're all sort of brothers in arms as well. Um, Sam Darnold thrown in the rain in a ball cap. Red flag or no red flag? Um, what do you think? I, I can't comment on that because I actually I have a little bit more hair. OK, so I think that might be. Now, yesterday, did you throw in the rain yesterday? Uh, yes. Out? Okay. Did you wear a ball cap? Um, no, I did not. There you go. First what overall more, pick. What more do you need to know? When they ask, I mean, what's the on, difference people. between Darnold and Jeez. Rosen? Hold on. Let me tweet Just that out. Just throw that out. Right. Cap. Hold on, let me tweet that out. Ball cap? I mean. Long sleeve shirt or short sleeve shirt? Yeah. Uh, short sleeve. Oh, uh, yes. I, I, I do wear long sleeves. I am a long sleeve guy, but, you but I think in the rain, sometimes you got to just embrace the elements. Okay. Just take it in, right? Yeah. Well, that's what Darnold said. That was the the story that came out of his pro day is that USC was going to try and make sure he gets out on the field when it wasn't raining. He's like, no, nah. stick me out there. Yeah. You know? I mean, we all have the tremendous respect for each other. I know you do. Yeah. Well, what was it like at the combine with everybody, meeting everybody? Sam was actually my roommate. We had a great time. At the combine? Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. So what what was he like? Does he snore? No. I was, okay. I was scared I would snore, but he said I was okay. Okay. So that's yeah. good. Um, everybody's no, no red flag on the snoring. Yeah. No, uh, were there any red flags as a roommate? Any roommate red flags with well, Sam Darnold? I think we were a little suspicious of one another, maybe like <laughs> disconnecting someone's alarm or, <laughs> but none of that happened. We okay. all showed up everywhere on time. That's amazing. So you and did you know that going in or did you just unpack your belongings and there's Sam Darnold who's unpacking his belongings? There's Sam. Really? You, yeah. didn't, you, weren't even, you didn't even get a heads up who no. your roommate was? I mean, Darnold and Rosen, I don't think, are very close alphabetically. They're not at all. But so were they trying to mess with you? Was that another combine trying to mess with somebody's head situation? I don't think it messed with us. I think we just, I mean, I, it was almost, I, I liked it having a roommate that I actually knew and, and uh, could hang out. How with. do you know Darnold? Just uh, by playing against him? Is it yeah, so all or? the quarterbacks uh, kind of know each other through the process from the high school recruiting sure. to um, whatever college camps, the Manning Academy. Um, uh, I mean, I got real, really close with Baker uh, two years ago at the Manning Academy and, and um, known Sam uh, being from Southern California. And, and uh, Josh Allen met at the NCAA Symposium over in Indianapolis actually last year while the combine was going on. So, I mean, we're all shooting each other good luck texts before games. It's all it's all family. We're all we're all friendly. Um, I mean, no one's rooting bad for anyone else. We just might be rooting a little better for ourselves. Of course. No, I know that. And, and I'm having I'm having a little bit of fun with it. So let's get into Josh Rosen, who you you worked out for the Jets yesterday. Is that true? Uh, yes. Okay. Who all else right. have you worked out privately for? Well, I just, yeah. All right. I, guess, I guess, I guess that removes the, the private, uh, aspect of it. Yeah, but who private have, workouts. Maybe. Who have you Not worked so out? Who, who have you worked out for um, personally? Uh, Bills, Browns, um, Jets and Giants. What'd yeah. you get from the Giants? What'd um, you take away from that one? Awesome. Awesome people. Um, love to go to dinner the night before, um, work out the next morning. Um, had a great time. Got along with, uh, most every team, uh, every team that came, it's really cool. And the owners come in, and you get to um, get to meet them and talk to some unbelievably successful, successful uh, people. And uh, it was just a really fun experience. So Steve Tisch picked up dinner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He picked up the he picked up the check. Yeah. Was Mara there too? Was John yes. Mara there too? So you met both owners of the New York Giants. Yeah. Number two overall. 
how did you how did you find out that the Jets had traded up? How did that uh, set you? Instagram. Okay. Instagram. Social media. You yeah. Know they, you know they pulled the trigger the day after personally eyeballing you at your pro day. Do you think there's any connection there? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I think that's your job to make those. Yes, there is a connection there. Make those connections. How about that? Connections. <laughs> okay, so you've worked out. Or do you have any uh, anything else planned for you to go visit anybody right now? Yeah, so I leave on the third and um, going around the country, meeting a bunch of teams from the third to uh, the fourteenth. Drop some names, please. It's okay. Uh, we're, all, we're all gonna find. We're all gonna find out. All those teams that uh, I worked out for, then um, Broncos, um, uh, Cardinals, um, Dolphins on that list. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Going to, going to hang out with the Dolphins. Did you meet a little bit. Did you meet uh, Elway? Yes. What in the world was that like? What in the world? Well, and and uh, Marino, um, at the combine, that was really cool. Shake their hand, and you just kind of. <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know who I am. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Who was your guy growing up? Um, who Peyton? Peyton was my guy. Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne days. Those were, those were unbelievable. So you were rooting for the Colts when you were growing yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. Because of eighteen. Yeah, he was he was the man. And you've been at his academy and his camp. Yeah. What was that like for you? It was awesome. It was really, I mean. I don't like to be a man of cliches, but it was a dream come true. Mm -hmm. um, that camp was awesome. Uh, I mean, especially because as um, an Eagles fan growing up, one of the first games I got to see was the uh, Eagles Patriots Super Bowl, and from that point on, I, I was I was in. There's anti a photograph of you uh, with the Eagles gear on, and by the way, a very nice scarf. That's where it looks oh. like you're a Southern Californian right there. In that's actually outside of Carlos Bakery in Hoboken, New Jersey. Yeah. So ba based on you being a Southern Californian, the way you're dressed, 50 degrees? 50 um, degrees out? Because I'm looking at the other East Coasters there? around wearing hardly anything on. What do you think? Yeah, it could be 60, but it's, it's shady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you were an Eagles fan growing up? and, and Yeah, so I, I, I was not a Patriots fan. as the One of the first games I saw was, I was in the Jacksonville, Patriots. Florida. Yeah, beating mm -hmm. my Eagles. So uh, along the, the Manning theme, uh, I was rooting – I know the Giants are, are not ideal, um, an ideal team and I, for as an Eagles fan, but I just wasn't a Patriots guy because of that game, and I was rooting for Eli and the Giants yeah. uh, vigorously in those two Super Bowls. Vigorously. Vigorously. I like that. Uh, you keep using words like that, it might be a red flag, Josh. I'll be very <laughs> honest with you. We want to make sure that your draft stock is better than when you walked in the room. Um, so I want to play start, bench, cut with you. Okay, let's okay? do That's a Rich Eisen show staple. Josh Rosen here on the Rich Eisen Show. Hit it, please. It's time. Start. Start now. Bench. Just sit down and be quiet. Or cut. All right. Uh, let's start with best Los Angeles fast food. Let's start with that. you got to start oh. one. you got to bench one. You've got to cut one. Okay. Okay. Pink's hot dogs. In-N-Out burger or fat burger. Start oh, bench cut. Starting In-N-Out each and every day of the week. It's a, it's, a it's a first ballot Hall of Famer, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um... I'll uh, bench fat burger, cut pinks. You're not a hot dog guy? Not really. Okay. Not really. Okay. Fat burger's red got flag. some awesome Red shape. flag, not a hot dog guy. Is that? I mean, there's a lot of processed meat. Hey, wait, is that a red flag, he's, he's though? Trying, I'm just kidding. Okay. We play in New York, Coney Island, you know, uh, Nathan's. Yeah. Well, I mean, he'll, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll figure out what your terrain is. I mean, I mean there's Shake Shack I out might there. like an East Coast dog better than a West Coast There you go. Dog. There you, you go. Know. See? You never Same. know that. Answer for everything. There you go. Which means, by the way doesn't want to go to a West Coast offense team. You just heard uh, that right there. That's a red flag. Red flag. <laughs> just reading, reading everything in. Okay. Um, uh, here we go. Class you'd most likely cut. Okay. Start bench cut. Josh Rosen. Class you'd, you'd, you just would refer not to go to. Math, science, or English? Um, start science, bench math. Mm-hmm. Cut English, but I, I, my mom was uh, an English major in college, so it go. has a so close she would, to my heart. So she would, uh, I, would pro I would sincerely cut them. She would protest vigorously. Protest vigorously. Okay, very good. Uh, uh, let's keep keep going with the music right here. Okay. Favorite interest. Favorite interest for Josh Rosen. Start bench cut. Here are the three choices: football, tennis, speaking your mind. Start bench cut. Huh. It's interesting. <laughs> 
I like he's that. He's processing. One. He's processing. I'm asking why in my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just say okay. That could be a red do it. right there. Like Start, it. bench, cut. There you go. Uh, there you God. are, by the way, in a football uniform and a tennis. Uh, by the way, nice, nice kid it's right on there. on Steve Whitehead's court. There you right, go. Uh, and there you are speaking your mind. <laughs> Favorite interest, football, tennis, speaking your mind. Start, bench, cut. Um, I think I'd start football, bench, tennis, uh, cut, speaking your mind. But I'd cut it because I don't think it ever goes away. I think you are who you are. You're not going to be able to take away um, what makes you you. Family feud, good answer clap, everybody. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. I love that. Uh, last one, start, bench, cut. Here we go. Josh Rosen. Cities you'd like to live in. Whoa. Denver. New York or Cleveland? His agent is nodding his head no vociferously, <laughs> vigorously. Um, Denver, New York, Cleveland. I think this is a question you have to ask the GMs. I think that you got to ask them if they're going to start bench or cut me. And the agent <laughs> is fist pumping. Ryan's fired up. Good answer. All oh, right. Put you off the hook on that one. Start bench cut. Um, this has been fun. Thanks yeah, for coming I've had in. a great time. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank and you so you, much. Uh, the, can I take the mug with the me? The mug is yours to keep. Oh, shucks. Uh, we got from the uh, Rose Bowl Legacy Foundation, we got two old Rose Bowl seats that we have now made part of the Rich Eisen Show studio that's right behind Chris Brockman from the 70s. If you wouldn't mind putting your Josh Rosen on that. Absolutely. We'll get that, so that'll be a nice new uh, keepsake for us. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck to you. Uh, as you know, I, I watched you on the Combine spin it on Shabbos. I dropped that line during the coverage. Your dad caught that? Yeah, line? my dad My dad did catch that. And with two enthusiastic thumbs up, vociferous thumbs up? Vigorously through the thumbs up. <laughs> Vigorously through the thumbs up. Uh, so uh, good luck. Thank you so Please much. don't be a stranger. Come back here anytime. You're welcome here anytime. Absolutely. You bet. That's Josh Rosen heading off to points unknown. But as Larry David said on behalf of Jets fans, he wants them to draft the heeb. That's what he said. Josh Rosen here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.